we are about to make a muddy mess. Mark's going to walk you through the setup of enabling the breaker because you have to do it each time you start. Might need to take two. <laughs> we might need to take two. Here's the menu. Go to menu, log record, periodic check, flow set. Scroll down again until you get to auxiliary flow control set. Go ahead and select, which is the far right button. You see the hammer show up. Make sure your flow controls are maxed out, both left and right, to run your hammer. Once you're good there, hit go, and it should work. Oh, shit. Except it won't start without this up. It won't? Oh, okay. So now I'm gonna have to go back through and do it. One more time for good measure. It's got the breaker on, it's got it set to go. Okay, should and you be. just got the key on.
I'm walking on what used to be a bunch of sidewalk. We got that uh, U35 Kubota with the breaker. I'm gonna pay attention here so I don't fall. And in less than uh, less than three hours, we got all of the sidewalk cracked up. So it's been about two hours and a half. Got about 10 minutes left there, and we'll have all of the sidewalk and all of the concrete broken up. We've got a 12-hour maximum on that, so we've still got nine hours left to do things like digging up some of these smaller stumps. So we're gonna make use of it the rest of the weekend. About ready to wrap up for today because it's Colton's birthday. Actually, yesterday was Colton's birthday, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go to dinner tonight at a Japanese steakhouse to celebrate Colton's birthday. Then we'll get back at it tomorrow. It's supposed to be raining, but we'll start digging some of those stumps out in the rain. We'll also start taking some of these smaller pieces dragging them over to the ditch we're going to put them in the ditch to line our front ditch with give a little cleaner look than just uh, weeds in the ditch